in New York's historic Plaza Hotel. Leonardo DiCaprio. Hello. Hello, Hi, Leo. How are you? Ali, how are you doing? nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Thank you for having a, a modern chat. day, old style so Hollywood actor. I look at being an actor as an incredible opportunity. I think that it's almost like winning the lottery in a lot of ways. Hollywood breeds yeah, a lot of stars, but there are very few great actors. Do you see yourself in that small elite group? I uh, would never say something like that. <laughs> I'm the king of the world! <laughs> At 38, Leonardo has already played an impressive and diverse cast of characters. Does that love me? From heartthrob to villain. Well, why? No why is ever. You understand? You don't know what this is like. Yes! DiCaprio has backed up his good looks General, with serious acting prowess. But now you have my attention. Now he's taking on one of the gigantic characters of 20th century American literature. Who is this Gatsby? The Great Gatsby. You see, you were there all along. And every idea, every decision. It's perfect. This is one of the most celebrated novels in the world. It, it is, you know, arguably the greatest American novel. Was it intimidating playing Jay Gatsby? You know, everyone has their own connection with this book. And so you're, you're, you're almost setting yourself up for disaster in a lot of ways. Look here, what's your opinion of me anyhow? Invariably, there'll be comparisons with the last time Hollywood took on the celebrated novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald. You can't repeat the past. When Robert Redford played the leading role. You can't repeat the past. Of course you can. You can't repeat the past. Expectations the are past. huge. Not only for no. DiCaprio. Why, of course you can. A couple steps back, walk into but it. But also Three for Australian back. director Baz Luhrmann. I knew that I had to do it because it's always relevant, that book, but it was particularly relevant now. Got it? Let's go. The 20s was a period, a golden orgy of money, you know. Women's skirts went up, skyscrapers went up, you know, everything was going up, the stock market was going up. And it looked like, you know, aeroplanes, cars, it would never fall. But Fitzgerald, in his book, which is published in 25, he predicts it's all going to crash. It's a strange coincidence. What? The movie is set in 1920s New York. Where are your kids going? Long Island, please. Action! But it was filmed in Harborside, oh. Sydney. Gate close! Close, 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 close! And while in Australia, Leonardo attracted as much attention for his romantic pursuits as his acting efforts. I'm quite used to that kind of stuff. I didn't find it hard at all. It doesn't I think bother you? It, you know, you know, look, I mean, we were shooting a major production in in Australia and there wasn't really anything that horrible said. I think that, you know, I think you can people were to very the tabloids, excited. Your hotel room was a revolving door for every, you know, hot young thing in town. Wow, well, you can't believe what you read. <laughs> the truth. But you're a nice boy. Am I a nice boy? I, I, I suppose that's subject to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he could say, table's ready there, and get my attention. That, yes. so I could... Gatsby is the latest collaboration between DiCaprio and Luhrmann. Absolutely. It is the East, and Juliet is the sun. They first worked together when Leo was a baby-faced teenager in Romeo and Juliet. He was a boy, now he's a man, and he's a man fully in control of his powers as an actor. But I think there are a few people on the planet who have had his life, you know? I can work with a, you know, a technician, a, a director of photography, he can be 60. And you still know that Leonardo has spent more time on film sets than that person, because Leonardo was on film sets since he was a six-year-old. You know, the truth is that I remember saying as a very young kid, I want to become an actor. This is a chunk of super soft bubble yum bubble gum. And that's single-mindedly what he did, scoring his first roles in a number of commercials. But only the yum is the fun that never blows out. Arnie! He then learned the ropes on television shows. Ah! 
I am going higher than before. Before making a break into feature films. And I will do it. Kill or two. Kill or two. No. And just said to myself, one day, hopefully, I'll try to do something as good as these great heroes that I want to emulate. Many child actors do go on to become cautionary tales. They get caught up in booze, um, drugs. You know, I think that it's never been something that, uh, that I've gravitated towards, really. I think I've gotten to be able to pursue my own dream, and it's something that, you know, uh, I have a, a great amount of respect for. So that's been really my main focus. That focus paid off big time when he starred as Jack Dawson in Titanic, alongside Kate Winslet. It was a role that made DiCaprio a global superstar. I saw that in a Nickelodeon once and I always wanted to do it. <laughs> I'm flying! Jack! Titanic is what really put you on the map, yet ever since then you seem to be avoiding the romantic leading roles. Why is that? I don't think I've ever avoided them so much as I never question what I'm subconsciously attracted to as an actor. It's never been an aversion to doing a love story or any genre of movie. I, I, I'm happy to try anything. I just sort of subconsciously gravitate towards subject matter and I never question why and I just go for it. My life has got to be like this. It's got to keep going up. In a notoriously superficial industry, Leo has kept the same tight circle of friends since he was a boy, including his co-star in The Great Gatsby, Toby right. McGuire. <laughs> Your friends all say that you're very normal. Is that true? That's... Well, once again, normal's relative. That's up to interpretation as well, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure some people would look at me in my life and say it's not normal, and other people might say it is. I don't know. Well, I mean, for instance, um, do you cook? I do cook, yes. Just... It takes a long time to make a good dish, wouldn't you agree? I mean, oh. to, act, to actually make something that tastes good takes a lot of effort. He is one of the world's most eligible bachelors. And it appears unlikely he'll be giving up the bachelor lifestyle anytime soon. When are you gonna settle down? Oh, Kids I would, and marriage. I would never answer that question. Is it on the cards one day? I'm sure it will be. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say, you're not getting any younger, Leo, you know, 38. Well, that's true, that's true. <laughs> he is a rambunctious sword, ain't he? <laughs> this is an actor at the top of his game. He got an offer from Al Capone to help pay the ransom money, but... Who can pick and choose his roles. Whatever I do, I can't change this moment. He keeps his counsel to his inner circle. Stupid, huh? Well, I guess that leaves me out and appears utterly unfazed by how anyone judges him. She never loved you. You see, she loves me. Look, I strive to be the best actor I can be, and um, whether I've achieved that is always, you know, up to the audience and critics to, to decide. I don't, I don't have any power over that. And that's the one thing about making movies that's always frightening and exhilarating is that you can go into it with um, the best possible intent, work as hard as you possibly can, and people, for whatever reason, may just disconnect with the movie. And that's, and you're powerless to that, you really are. All you can do is really show up on set and, you know, work as hard as you possibly can, and that's, that I can say that I do. Hello, I'm Alison Langdon. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.